Uh, back from my um, little outing, uh, one of the perks of um, working from home is I get to um, pop out and get uh, coffee, etc. Uh, from one of my favourite cafes. So um, that's uh, what I was doing in the first part of this video. Uh, but really, uh, today's video, um, I just want to talk about the topic of um, short form um, video. Um, it definitely seems to be taken over, um, hugely popular. Um, you know, if the likes of um, TikTok, uh, Instagram Reels, um, and Shorts um, on YouTube, um, you've probably seen um, the short form uh, content on YouTube. Yeah, really, um, my thoughts on this is: is short form video actually the way to go? Should should I only be doing short form video? Um, personally, I still like uh, long form videos. I like the um, the generally more polished production quality with them. Um, you can get a lot more in depth um, in the topic or subject that you're, you're talking about um, and obviously um, cover a lot more. That said, um, there's definitely an addictive um, nature to the short form video. Nothing like, um, you know, spending uh, plenty of time just sort of scrolling through the TikTok feed um, or reels on Instagram or shorts here on YouTube. Um, they're quick, um, easy to consume. So um, I think if you're a content creator these days, um, particularly here on YouTube, um, you definitely need to um, be incorporating short form um, video into your content. Um, from the limited uh, amount of time that I've been doing this, um, I've already seen that the engagement rates on um, short form videos is way more than what you get in, in the longer form stuff. Um, so engagement rates, I'm talking about views of your content, just, just exponentially more. That said, um, you know, numbers are just numbers. Um, just because uh, you're getting more views of your video doesn't mean you're getting more engagement in terms of either um, interactions such as comments, etc., or people um, following through to um, links you might have in the description or on your profile, etc., and going out to your other content. So, you know, um, you've got to balance both of those up. I don't really have the numbers to back it up, but I, I do think personally that um, because people um, who do watch longer form video um, and particularly watch the whole video um, may be more invested in that content and perhaps are more engaged and more likely to um, to visit your links or out to your other content um, or whatever it is if you that you're selling if you are selling something that's just my personal opinion going forward um, what you'll continue to see from me is a, is a mix of sort of these um, these longer form videos intermixed with um, the short form content. Um, I've recently jumped on the TikTok bandwagon after um, saying I never would. Um, so go check me out on there I'm under um, the username Lens of Mike. I'm like I am everywhere. Um, so I've got a few videos up there and, and I'll do those. Um, my parting thought also is that um, with short form content, because it is um, short, it's quick and it's easy. It's very easy to just knock out some content um, a lot quicker and easier um, than what it is to do um, the longer form stuff. So potentially for me, you'll see um, you'll, you'll see a lot more short form stuff um, versus what you do the longer form stuff. Um, but I do intend to continue uh, making the longer form videos as well. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the um, short form videos and how they um, seem to have taken over everywhere. I'm keen to hear what your thoughts are. As always, do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Um, also ring that bell um, so you're always also notified when I do post new videos. And we'll catch you next time.